because I should just warn uh, all our viewers that uh, you know these are pretty difficult pictures to to follow, um, but are being put out as evidence of uh, of what they say has happened. The previous 13 alleged attacks, we've seen casualties of one or two, which is not really synonymous with potential chemical weapons. Here. Um, I've heard figures from 50 to 500 and certainly the footage that you're showing and that I've seen is in the tens and hundreds. Now that is not really what you'd expect from a conventional weapon. So there is something else that is killing these people and a nerve agent, a chemical weapon could well be that. We've, we've had a call from the head of the Arab League to say those, those weapons inspectors who finally have got in and they've got three particular sites to visit should immediately take this on board as part of their, their mission. Is that going to happen? Well, I don't know if it's going to happen, but absolutely they should. The, the difficulty with the mission they've got at the moment, they're going to sites where chemical weapons allegedly were used three or four months ago. If they're nerve agents, there will not be any remnants of them. However, if this happened a few hours ago, uh, Dr. Selstrom and his team had the experience and the equipment to get on the ground and very quickly identify if chemical weapons have been used. So absolutely they should do, whether Assad will allow them to go there and whether the UN are satisfied with the security that they will get to go there, those are the two big issues. If they can get there, that would be hugely significant. And that's the point you make, isn't it? If you get in early as a weapons inspector, you've got a chance of, of working out precisely what's gone on. If you get in late, not much chance? Entirely. Um, nerve agent that, that has been mentioned, sarin in particular in Syria, is non-persistent. It only lasts for an hour or so. You can still find trace of it days, possibly weeks later, but that's very difficult. But, you know, are, are these casualties, do they show symptoms of potential nerve agent poisoning? Well, that could be an explanation. And again, very similar pictures to we saw in Halabja 25 years ago. And is it stage managed? That's what people are asking. That's a question that uh, you no know, chemical weapons expert can resolve that necessarily, even if they can deduce that weapons have been used. We have had, running all the way through this, allegation and counter-allegation, haven't we? In, entirely. I mean, I, I've looked at the videos, admittedly only once over for the 75 videos. They don't look stage-managed to me. Um, having children appear to be dead for, for minutes at a time, I think that would be very difficult. Um, so, but there are a number of explanations. Um, is it the opposition? Uh, is Assad doing something, you know, a ruse of war because we just wouldn't believe he would do it with the um, UN inspectors there? There's still a lot of questions to be asked and some p potential options, but it would appear that hundred, you know, tens, hundreds of people have died in the last few hours from some sort of weapon.